I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs>
he go to his own son wife he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there and then he forced the husband to divorce his wife obviously so he can have her and then the Muslims in their books they write that the Prophet he have at least 16 privilege about nine of them is about his private part to the point if the Prophet his eyes fall into a woman he like her her husband must divorce her so the Prophet can boom boom with her so how in the world this man is a trustworthy now as you see I am coming in a time which is not usual usually I come either early morning in my time or late at night mostly early morning so now not many people here but I, you know I hope people will invite more people so we can get more uh, people to join and learn do we have any Muslim would like to call? I see in the chat we have somebody, his name is Games uh, Gaming Tips. That's a good name. Do you, do you know, what do you know about gaming gaming tips? Do you like to call us and tell us about gaming tips? Because I believe Islam is a game. And it's a, it's a really bad game. He has an example. You know, it's one of the games of Muhammad that you can do all kind of adultery, killing, theft, uh, you name it, I mean, all kind of crazy stuff. And then there is a game. You go and go around the Kaaba. <laughs> Seven times. <laughs> or uh, touching the black stone and the Yemeni corner will erase your sin. I mean, this is a nice game. Who can be that? Let us be honest here. You spend the whole year doing as much as you wish. Look at this game. This is one of the games. Thank you, Gaming Tips, for giving us the tips. You know, your name is an inspiration for us. I think you have a connection with Jibreel. Look what your prophet said. Is anyone uh, incapable of er earning 1,000 uh, uh, hasana? Hasana means reward. In a day? Okay, what does that mean? Someone from the gathering asked, how can anyone of us earn a thousand reward he said okay glorify Allah 100 time and a thousand hasana will be written for you and the 1000 reward will wipe 1000 sin you did <laughs> look how nice the game <laughs> so every day you go rape you go kill you do steal, you do all the garbage, and then at the end of the day, before you go to bed, say 100 times, praise be to Allah, subhanallah, 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 subhanallah. <laughs> you know, here you see the stupidity of the founder of this cult. Because how easy it is to fix the society you see, he's not fixing the society by making you decent. He is fixing the society by going to do whatever you want and then say, Subhanallah, 100 times. What a funny, silly game. Is that really God talking, talking to Muhammad? Teaching Muhammad how he earned heaven? Until now, we have nothing but Muslims complain in the chat. But until now, I don't see any Muhammadan. You know... All the Mohammedans who come to us, the ones who call, uh, they complain, as an example, about Christian prince. They say Christian prince is lying. Okay, how Christian prince is lying? Just to show you the drama of this, this religion. I will give you an example. <clears throat> This hadith as an example. We say to the Muslims, your prophet, he is the prophet who was able to discover that the sun set in a murky water and a spring of boiling water, actually. How the Muslim refute this? They say, CP, this hadith reported by Uthman, the son of Abi Sayba, and Ubaidullah ibn Umar, the son of Maisara. 
And then Yazid ibn Harun, he is the one who taught them. From Sufyan, the son of Hussein. From Al Hakam bin Atayba. From Ibrahim al Taymi. From his father. From Abu, Abu, Abu Dhar. <laughs> they say, okay, just to get an example, you know. Ibrahim al Taymi is known to be a, a person who makes things up. Okay? And because of that, uh, you know, we don't accept this hadith. This is how the Muslims get me busted by saying it's a lie. And the funny is, those Muslims, the one who wrote the hadith, the one who, you know, collected the hadith, the one even called it Sahih in chain. <laughs> and they'll have no problem with it. Sahih or Isnad, actually. You know, <laughs> nobody have a problem with it. But today, because it's an embarrassment, we have to find a way to get away from it. So what we will do, what the Muslims trying to say to us, that Muslims are a bunch of liars, and they fabricate stories about their prophet. Their prophet did not say that. Their prophet never said that. But there is some Muslims, brother, who they are really evil, brother. They fabricate stories, brother, about the prophet, alhamdulillah. My friend uh, Tundra, focus with us. Do you see us are talking about about Baha'i and Druze? Who care about those things? For Baha'i is not a religion. Baha'i is a collection of stupidity. Uh, Baha'i is uh, like a bunch of hippies. You know, they want to. Uh, it's a religion for everybody. You know, like if you are a mental, you joined uh, this Baha'i. That's why the Israelis supported them. And the Druze. Uh, you see, I don't appreciate people asking questions that have nothing to do with topic. This is telling you that the people who join us, they are suffering from the flight of thought like Muhammad. I mean, we are talking about something, and then somebody posts something, and that's why I need to decide this chat. Focus, focus. But as long as you ask me, I will answer you this time. The Druze are, are a kind or a branch of the Shia, but the Druze are not really Muslims. The Druze, they believe. They have like different version of Islam, let's say. They believe that Al-Hakim bi Allah al-Fatimi, he was Allah on the ground, in the earth, and his son is Hamza al-Bahlawan. And there is seven letters between the father and the son. Al-Hakim bi Allah is the caliphate of Egypt during the Fatimi state. He sent seven letters to his spiritual son, Hamza, who was nothing but a gang and caravan rider. And this is the book of the Druze. The Druze don't really care for the Quran. They care for... The book is called Rasail al Hikmah, which means the letters of wisdom. Anyway, so focus with me, please, and don't ask silly questions, have nothing to do with the topic. When we are done of everything, and I say who have a question, different question, you can give me those questions. Now, what is the problem with this story? The problem is that this story showing that Muhammad obviously is a fraud. Very simple. But this story is exist in the Quran too. So what we do, when we show the Muslims the Quran saying the same thing, the Muslim they have to come with different, uh, a different answer. So if we go in the Quran, as an example, chapter 18, verse number 86, Chapter 18, verse number 86, where it says that the sun set in a murky water and who found it? Zulkhurnay. The Muslim here, they start getting their imagination to fix it. They say, this is from the perception of Zulkhurnay. It's not Allah who saying that the sun set in murky water. But read with me carefully. Do you see anywhere it says what the Muslim are saying to us? Do you see where it says that this is how it's appeared to him? Uh, did Allah say the word it appeared to Zulqarnay in this way? No, this is Allah is talking, this is not Zulqarnay. So this person, he kept going until he found where the sun set. He found it setting in a spring of black muddy. Actually, it's not really, uh, uh, you know, Hamia is, uh, uh, you know, because it's boiling with the with the mud 
so it is muddy and uh, like you know that you see those uh, what they call it uh, like if you have a volcano you will see like a gray water coming boiling or very hot so this is what the water we are talking about so the one is talking here is not even Zulkhurnay. It is Allah. And you will notice here many mistakes in one in one uh, phrase. Until when he reached the sitting place of the sun. What is that? So the, obviously the author of the Quran, Aka Muhammad, he is so foolish, copy from a story written by somebody from Syria about Zulkhurnayn, a fiction story. Zulkhurnayn is a real person, by the way. But it's not his name, Zulkhurnayn. This is a silly name from the fiction story. His real name, Alexander the Great. So Alexander the Great, who used to horn two horn, uh, he conquered the whole world. So the story is making, I mean, the, the, old, the old world, let's say. So the story was written by this Syrian uh, uh, author, uh, the fiction story, speaking about a guy with a two horn, did not mention his name. And this person, uh, he went all the way until he found the sitting place of the sun. This is what the Quran is saying. The foolish Muhammad, he copied the story as it is from that fiction story and he added it in his book. Do you see how stupid Muhammad is? Here you will notice that Muhammad is not trustworthy because if his God told him that, well, his God is not trustworthy too. If his God did not tell him that, that means Muhammad is not trustworthy too. Because this is simply a false story. I want a link for you to debate. Uh, uh, he wants a link for me to debate. Let's call this guy. If you are if you are a Muslim and you'd like to you know to join us, please feel free. We will be happy to have you. I'm muting the ringing until the Abdul he answers, so we don't annoy annoy you with the uh, with the ringing. Uh, any Muslim he claim to have a beard, a sheikh, uh, especially if you claim to be uh, an imam of a mosque or somebody have knowledge, please feel free and call us and uh, give us the best you have obviously muslims they cannot defend their religion and obviously islam is a scam well this guy is not answering so forget about him if there is any muslim would like to call us and tell us how muhammad became a prophet how in the world a person he claimed to be a prophet he says such a stupid story and and what the point of this story what is the point a bunch of Jews, they come to Muhammad to make fun of him. And obviously, Muhammad, he took the trap. He is a fool. They ask him, tell us about Zilqarnin, the prophet of Allah. The guy, the idiot, he spoke to him as if he is a prophet. Just because the Jews, they said to him, tell us about him. So the Jews always, they play with this idiot. And Muhammad always fell into their trap. Any Muhammadan? Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us and tell us how Muhammad is a prophet? How Muhammad is trustworthy? How Muhammad can be listened to? Is Muhammad mentally ill? Well, there is many proofs that Muhammad is mentally ill. And again, the Muslim, they will say to you, you will find a million videos made to refute a Christian prince. And by the way, Christian prince never respond. <laughs> so, so what I'm doing here every day? <laughs> I don't respond to idiots. I respond to Islam. Let us see. <clears throat> we are calling this guy. Let's see if he will answer. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, CP. Yes, my friend. We are live on air. Would you like to say to us? Ah, uh, no. I was not going to come on air. I just wanted to link you with a guy, who, one of my friends, 
who is willing to uh, debate you. Your friend will debate me? Yeah, I said he wanted to debate you because I, I, I told him about you and then I showed him your video and he was okay, convinced that you okay, were. Is, is he next to you or is it was your friend? Uh, no, he, 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 he is back home in Nigeria and I'm in Canada, so I have to talk to him and I'll fix okay. it. Hey, my time. friend, if you like, you can text him and uh, he can join us. Thank you for calling. All right. All right thank you. Yeah. Please, guys, don't call me, don't text me. We want Muslims to text us. You calling me, texting me doesn't make any difference for me. Because we want people to see how Muslims, you know, you want to see two sides of the story. You're not like the Muslims, the Muslims, they make an interview. Or let's say two Muslims, they start bashing Christianity. And they laugh at Christianity. <laughs> you know, this is easy, you know, talking to yourself, right? You always win. Hmm? Some Muslims, they really, uh, they, they claim that they can refute us. And if they want to make a debate, if we can call it a debate, Muslims always, they choose carefully, they will debate who? A person who do not know much. As simple as that. Because the maximum, the maximum he says something, we will say to him, you do not know Arabic, you do not know the meaning. Here we go. Right? When Mimi Hijab, our sister Mimi, she was debating uh, David Wood. Uh, David Wood, he says, your God, Allah have two hands. Mimi, he said to him, who said so? <laughs> I know this is coming. You don't speak Hebrew, you don't speak Arabic. That's it. The problem solved. So, uh, uh, Muslims always they play the game of mockery to avoid the question. And they play the game of you don't speak Arabic to avoid answering to. With those, with me, those things, both of them, they don't work. Because you do mockery, I will whip the floor with your face. You want to speak Arabic? I am an Arab. You want to speak about knowledge? Try me. So who is a Muslim who dare? You see, I'm not uh, David Wood with the blue eyes. You can lie too, and I don't know what to say to you. This is why no, they don't dare. I mean, all those Muslims, they claim they can refute me. I saw before I start, somebody saying EF Dawa. I don't know why they even call themselves EF Dawa. That's a good name, EF Dawa. Uh, they claim they can, you know, okay, give me the Skype, I will call them right now. Give me the EF Dawa Skype, let them text me, I will call them right now. They can go on their channel. Fair? Is that fair, guys? So all those kids, like this EF Dawa, they said, that uh, 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 when the word in the Quran says a solb, a solb means the male member. I never heard of somebody saying such a stupid thing that a solb is a male member. They were talking about, you know, I didn't watch their video, but somebody sent me a video of them. It was funny, stupid, like them. So the guy who is supposedly an expert, he says, if you open a dictionary, okay, let us open a dictionary. <laughs> Why not open dictionary to people so they can see the dictionary you are talking about? So people will, will laugh at you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you see here even the word solba who draws it as meaning his back, meaning his back. This is solb, 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 solb from the back, from the back, from the back, backbone, backbone. You see it in the Abduls of F Dawa. And they get the perfect name again, F Dawa. It's here you go. This is your translation. Backbone. So the backbone suddenly became the 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 the, the, the private part of the man. Those are the ones who will dare to this is why they will never dare to get close to me. It takes us two seconds to make them shish kebab. Right? I mean, what is that? Uh, so I, they got the, they got the name for you know they chose the perfect name if that what is that you know all the Muslims hadith says that the soul mean uh, the backbone the backbone the backbone the spine the backbone the backbone look 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 you know backbone even even when uh, uh, when they speak about uh, uh, Adam, you know, 
Uh, read, read carefully with me here. <laughs> God made the covenant from of, uh, of uh, from Adam back. <laughs> he made the covenant, <laughs> and here in translation, this says, uh, "From his loins, all of his offspring." What, what loins? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, so you know Islam is a comedy and Muslims are like salesmen trying to make Islam look good you go to a car dealer he will sell you a piece of trash and he will do his best to make you to, to make you believe that this is the best uh, uh, car ever in the in the world you know you need to buy it this car if you go now for five minutes you come back you will not find it okay and if you are a fool, you will believe him. You know, you forgot that he's a car dealer. And then you take it home and then you find that this car, the car is screwed up. And he will say to you, well, uh, <coughs> uh, sorry, sir. Did you see the policy you signed? You know, when you signed the paper? <laughs> so this is your prophet explaining the backbone. But the Muslim, they say, this is not the backbone. It is uh, uh, the private part, brother. And why they are saying this is not the backbone? Because simply, uh, it's embarrassment, Muhammad. Uh, you know, he claimed that this has been taught by his God. So how a sperm of the man is coming from the backbone and the sperm of the women is coming from the ribs. And since women, the women, they have a sperm anyway. Uh, stupidity. Yeah. What you can say? What you can say? Until now, we have zero Abdul. I noticed that before I go live, we have many Abduls in the chat. After I go live, it's not the same. Even the chat is dry from the Muslims. Huh? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Uh, it looked like Muhammad he never heard of the word testicles and uh, you know as usual Muhammad is a is a mentally ill person who claimed to be educated in the time of ignorance so you know who is going to get him busted at that time in the Arabian Peninsula when they are a bunch of ignorant too but even at that time even they are a bunch of ignorant you know Arab at that time they were making fun of the stupidity of Muhammad even the Arab, who they are not educated, they are not like the Greek people or still, they were they were laughing at the stupidity of Muhammad. Prove me wrong. Who wanna call me life? Who is it from those who make videos to refute me? They are to let me call him. Don't call me, I will call you. Anyone? Any Abdul? So all of them, they can refute me. How they can refute me? It doesn't say that, Siti. This is hadith as mentioned by Uthman. Uthman taught it by Hassan. Hassan taught it by Zucchini. Zucchini taught it by Cucumber. Cucumber taught it by uh, uh, Elevator. The Elevator was broken at that day, so it cannot be from the Prophet. So they do all kind of a tricks to avoid the stupidity of their Prophet. Now, why? Because they are ashamed of Muhammad that's the whole story that's the whole story and look they are adding the word loins loins it's not a backbone no no more hmm? yeah any Abdul anyone Any smart Muslim would like to contact me and tell us live on air if Muhammad is a prophet or not. What do you think? Anyone? Look like there's no more proud Muslims, sadly. 
they don't want to be proud what I can do uh, how many times I said people don't don't text me and people they keep texting me especially if you are a female go and text a female like you Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Can you have one? <clears throat> No? Okay, any court or Muslim? No? Okay, well, it looks like the Muslims are became real these days. They left Islam. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to, to see this. There's no Muslim left. Thank you, God. You know, Islam Muslims, they've been saved and they now they are joining Christianity and they are not proud about their prophet no more. So all those videos in YouTube are a scam. This is the truth. You know, the trustworthy prophet, the amazing prophet, the intelligent prophet, just to show you how intelligent Muhammad is. Just an example. Who can beat this intelligence? Nobody. According to the smartest prophet ever in earth, that if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy and will look like you. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl who will look like her. Who can beat that? To be honest with you, nobody. Come on. We have a person, his name is Wasim Ali, and he is calling me coward princess. Well, Wasim, what about you give me your Skype and let us see who is the coward. Is that fair, guys? As long as you see, we, we allow even Muslims to post comment calling me names. If you go to Muslim page, if you, if you, if you insult the one who is running uh, the program, he will block you right away and he will say not only he will not let you talk, he will hire your text. So why you don't call me? Let us see who is the princess and the coward. What say you? Are you a man enough to call me? What do you think, people? Wasim Ali sound like an Arabic name, so he speak Arabic. Perfect. So that will help him to get me busted if I'm lying. So what say you, Wasim? Let us see who is the coward. If you say you will not call me, that's mean your mom. Uh, she did not allow you. Or your wife, maybe, because you did not wash dishes. We don't know. Hmm? Any Abdul? All of you are brave. All of you. You see, when the Israeli army comes, you run. All of you are brave. And the Quran, by the way, says that the Israeli hide behind their walls. And then we look for the Muslim, we found them under the ground. They don't even have walls. They make tunnels. What the heck? All of you are so brave. And you call me princess to insult, supposedly, right? Who is the princess here? Change your name. Call yourself Wasima. You, you, by the way, Wasim means pretty. You are pretty. MashaAllah. You, you are more pretty than the Prophet Muhammad? And you know what this is the what this is about the pretty Muhammad. What's wrong with you, Muslims? There's a million videos about how pretty Muhammad was. I mean, this is the most stupid. Have you ever seen one Christian making a videos about how good looking Jesus was? I mean, who care? Are we talking about? Is that a fashion show? 
Muhammad is going in the competition for pretty queen, beauty queen, the pretty prophet. You Muslim even describe his Billy Bomb. I mean, how far the madness go? How white under his arm? How white is his thigh? How white his face? The white man worshippers. Was Muhammad really so pretty? Do you think he was so pretty? So do you think that Allah will not send anyone to be a messenger unless he is so pretty? Uh, and then we check. We find that Muhammad, the pretty Muhammad, sorry, I cannot say Muhammad. Anymore. From now on, we will not say Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We will say Prophet, beauty queen. Uh, <clears throat> even the angels who came to Muhammad, he was so pretty too. There's a boyfriend of Muhammad. He slept with his wife before him. The one who they raped first. Among the captive was Safiya. First, she was given to the Hil Kalbi. Okay, who is the Hil Kalbi? This is the same guy who, who Jibreel came in his look. <laughs> okay, wh why Jibreel came in the look of the Hil Kalbi? Because he's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Read carefully. <laughs> the angel Zibril brother, he come to the nearest resemblance, you know, of the Hiyal Kalbi. This is translation, not my translation. Okay, why Jibril is coming? He looked like this guy, the boyfriend of Muhammad. So now we have two Dahil Kalbi in town. Which one is is the one? Like you go now in the town, you will find like a hundred thousand Santa Claus. Okay, but which one is the real one? This is the same in Islam now. So we have the Hiyal Kalbi, the real person. We have the Hiyal Kalbi, the angel. And why Muhammad, he come with this lie that this Dahil Kalbi is the one who is coming to him as an, supposedly it's an angel because he used to stay all night in his house and it's fishy. I mean, what this guy is staying late in your house? So he said, okay, well, this is the angel you breathe. You know? Yeah. The hell can be? Do we have any person can call us and tell us something good about the pretty prophet? You know, when the Muslim, they make videos about the description of Prophet Muhammad and then there's a back um, ground music like mm, and the guy he says I look at the Prophet I look at the moon I look at the Prophet I look at the moon I look at the Prophet I look at the moon come tomorrow you know I look at the Prophet I look at the moon I look like what the heck all of this to describe the prophet how pretty he is, he is more pretty than the moon. And, uh, by the way, is the moon pretty anyway? I mean, what what do you mean? I look at the prophet. Ah, because he's white. They, worship, they are white man worshippers. Hmm? Do we have any Abdul? He have anything to say to us about his religion? Look all those stories in the front of me. I mean, I cannot find even a decent story to tell you. But the most funny uh, story happened like, 10 days ago is when Mimi Hijab, he recited verse, verses from the Quran and he uh, supposedly, uh, uh, this guy, what's his name, Patterson, he said to him, I don't understand why you are uh, you know, chanting Quran in Arabic. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he says, well, because we believe that this is Quran have a special, uh, you know, you know the thing, you know. The coward Mimi Hijab, he did not tell him uh, that the this the same chapter claim that if you recite the Quran, this chapter is specifically to a person, he will collapse even if it's a mountain. So Mimi decided to recite the Quran, and then later he added some echo to it. Had we sent down this Quran on the mountain, we surely have seen it humbling himself. Okay, here we go. You recite the Quran on me. I'm not a mountain. I'm, I'm laughing at it. The experiment of Islam is not working. 
Hold on, you remind me of something. Let me go to private YouTube. There's a sheikh, his name is Al-Uraifi. Very well known Saudi sheikh. This guy, they invited him, I think it was to France. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find it. Here we go. Let us see if this is the one. Huh. So this guy, this sheikh, he said, if there is any foreigner here, don't speak Arabic. There's a French guy, he does not know Arabic, he is not a Muslim. So they want to prove to people that when you recite the Quran, by nature you will you, know, you will choose the the, uh, 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 the real Quran, you know, because the Quran is amazing. Uh, this is not the video, hold on, let me find the video. This is not the one. This is a comment about the videos. I, I want to find the video. So anyway, uh, a guy he put his hand up, and he don't know. I don't know. He don't know Arabic, and he's a French. So he told him, "I'm going to show you. I'm going to say two chapter, two uh, two verses from the Quran. Uh, two Quran. One is fake. One is real. And your heart will lead you because this is what the Quran says. Your heart will lead you to the true one." And this is the video I found it. And this was called today the chapter of that apple. Because this guy he made Quran look like the Quran of Muhammad. And this is to you anyone can make Quran. Here we go. Abdu or Farsi, make the referring. Zikru rahmati rabbika abdahu Zakaria. Had the Jumla Ula. Wajalasna maak wa anisna la. Hey, had the Jumla Thani. Actually, this is cut off from the video. I wish I can find the, the, the whole one. And now he's asking him, okay, so the first one and there is a second one. The first one is the real Quran. The second one is the fake Quran. But he did not tell him which one. He said, which which one you think your, your heart make you fail into? The first one or the second one? Guess what he chose? <laughs> he chose the, the false Quran. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shadows don't choose bad you know don't force me to block you why are you all calling them filthy supposedly you are the clean you know everybody you know we are here to help the muslims not to call them filthy my friend if somebody is a filthy is a filthy all right When somebody does something filthy, then you call him filthy. You don't say any filthy Abdul. So here a great example of the stupidity of Islam. The Quran says, you know, this Quran, anyone, even the genie converted to Islam when they listen to it. So what the Muslim they do, they bring a guy, he have a nice voice and he start singing. And because you are a foreigner, you do not know what he's singing. You might like it, you know, the same as you see people liking uh, Indian songs. You know, people shaking their heads and you know, you, you watch an Indian movie from the middle of nowhere, you will find like 10,000 women and men, they are dancing. How, where, who cares, you know? And you might like it, right? Uh, but maybe if you know the words, you will not like it because words can make a difference. The same as any, many, many songs in English. There's many people, they repeat English words, but it's nothing but the F word, the S, she, ish, I, T word, you know? Those, uh, those filthy Arabic music. There's many kids in the Middle East, they recite them, they like them, you know, they love them. But in reality, they are very filthy, you know. So what is important, what is the word mean? Not this, the voice of a chanter, a chanting person. Give the same Quran for somebody who have a bad voice. You will see the same Quran sounds so stupid. Even if you do not know Arabic, just the same, the voice, you know. If you give a, a newspaper for someone have a nice voice, even if he is reading a newspaper, you will enjoy it. Because his voice is nice. It's not the words he's reciting. Right? But they try to fool you. 
and they bring you like you will see all the record of the Quran is done by people who have a very nice voice. Okay, most of them, if the Quran is amazing, why you need somebody have a nice voice to make the Quran sound nice? Any one of you? Actually, let us make competition. Who is a Muslim can call us right now and recite the Quran for us? What do you think, guys? We offer the Muslim. What is this guy? What's his name? Uh, Wasim Ali. You still alive? Hmm? Uh, somebody, his name is a proud Saudi. He's saying, why you think uh, Britain, Netherlands, well, you know, my friend, uh, proud, proud Saudi, uh, I, I like your name, actually. Aulad uh, al-Bayara. Look what uh, Mr. Proud Saudi is saying. Why do you think Britain, Netherlands, Europe turned into uh, uh, atheism? My friend, as I know, our churches is full. And as I know, uh, if this is the logic you are using, then why a Jazeera TV, which is coming from the border country next to you, saying 16,000 Muslims leaving Islam a day? I will go with your logic. So if a Christianity is fake, and this is the reason, well, that means Islam is fake. Even your prophet said that Islam is taught as a small religion, will end as a small religion. So I will, go, I will use your logic. If the religion is fake, people will leave from it, correct? The day Muhammad he died, tens of thousands of Muslims left Islam. Is that correct? <laughs> I mean, the guy, nobody debated him by, yet, by the way. There was no internet, there's no YouTube, there's no Christian prince. Muhammad he died, the news came to them, everybody left Islam. And I challenge you to say to me, this is a lie. What say you? Secondly, what I see is the opposite. Muslims are leaving Islam left and right. Go and watch Mimi Hijab. He asked people for donation, saying last year 176 people, a thousand people left Islam. We are the only one who can defend the brother. So the, they are asking for donation to defend Islam and, the, and, and people in Europe, they became atheist. Yeah. You can make a wish. Hello? Yeah, hi, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, how are you doing? You are yeah, a Muslim? Fine. Uh, I spoke to you a while ago. I think you called me duct tape. Oh, Mr. Duct tape, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. You remember me, yeah? Yeah, actually, hold on. You know what? I have a surprise for you. Now I look at your name. Here we go. It says Muhammad duct tape. Uh, <laughs> I, ch I, ch I changed your name in Skype, you know. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I changed your name in Skype. I make I, I, I changed the name and make it Muhammad duct tape because I remember you were out of duct tape trying to fix Muhammad. <laughs> I mean, they it's not a, when right. I look back, it's not an easy job, you know. And no, I would no. say, so what do you want to say to us, uh, Muhammad? Well, I want to say, of course, uh, you said only Muslims can call, but you know, and I'm. Uh, I'm no longer Muslim, but uh, but I want to say, you know, thank you for, you know... Uh, what happened uh, last time you called me, you left Islam? Uh, ever uh, since then, I had to question a couple of things, and I also had uh, a few oh. doubts. So you left Islam now? Yeah, I've left... Uh, I've left did uh, you leave Islam when you are talking to me live on air, or you hang up and you are not, you did not leave Islam yet? Because I don't remember you left Islam. After I talked to you, I uh, I had ah. to do some th some thinking. Ah, after you talked to me and you became out of the duct tape, you know, <laughs> there's no more duct tape can fix it, so you decided to leave Islam. That's a good thing. Well, uh, um, uh, even before that, I had a few doubts, but I was still trying my best to uh, uh, defend it. So uh, one of the reasons I called you is to see uh, how the defense would uh, do, for example, to someone who can, you know, criticize, uh, and you know, after seeing criticism and uh, from someone like you that's not afraid to criticize, I've come to the conclusion that I still respect Muslims, but me personally, I'm, uh, I can't, you know, uh, I, there's too many like problems, you know, uh, for this to make sense. Yeah. 
Well, it's not only about making sense. I mean, Islam is stupid in every aspect. Even even the the definition of God in Islam is a stupid definition. You know, uh, when when we ask Muslims who is Allah, they don't know. All what they know, they say the Creator. But the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. So if Allah is the creator, and then we find in the Quran that Jesus can create from the mother bird, right? And the Quran confirmed that Allah is the best of the creators. So, so how in one hand you say that you are a monotheism religion and you believe in one God. And then in the other hand, your Quran saying that Allah is the best of the creators. And then the Muslim, they try to duct tape as you used to do with me. You know, you say, <laughs> CP, you say CP, if somebody make a bicycle, didn't that make him a creator? No, creator is somebody he can create. It's not somebody oh. he made something. Some, some like if I make a car, I'm not creating a car. You know that no. the steel is there. I mean the the iron is there. All what I did, I just use what is around me to invent something new. But the reality is, the creator is someone who can even he can give life. Even the Quran says that. How you can worship somebody, he cannot even create a fly. So the Quran put a def definition for a creation. The one who can create a fly is the one is worthy of worship. The question is, can Allah create a fly? Nobody can no. prove that. And the proof that Allah cannot create a fly, Allah himself do not remember which one he created first. As an example, if I am the one who created the earth and the heaven, shouldn't I remember if I created the mountains first before you the should stars, at least, uh, at yeah. At least you so, should that. yeah. So he cannot even repeat the same story twice. This is what happened. So you see, I can make a Quran right now, claiming to be I'm God, and I can repeat the same story twice without making a stupid contradiction. But this God is so silly, so stupid to the point he cannot even go in order of his creation. Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, just it, and there's even more uh, problematic than what you just mentioned. This is just, uh, you know, the, uh, the, 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 you know, the small problems. You know, I, I was and, going to, I was going to block you, by the way, because you gave me a headache. <laughs> Honestly, you gave me a headache with your duct tape, you know, because whatever I say to you, you try to duct tape it, you know, that's why I came with this name. <laughs> but, but I'm surprised now you are calling me and you decide to leave Islam. So did you, what do you think about becoming Christian then? Uh, to be honest, uh, you know, I respect Christians very much, especially if, uh, like you. And uh, but at the same time, I don't think uh, I think a lot of the problems I had with Islam, I think some of them also is uh, in Christianity. Like what? No, give me one. Give me one. Just make maybe we can help. Well, for example, uh, Christianity, just like Islam, you know, uh, points a lot of things such as a sinful for example, when a man and, uh, and a girl, and, uh, you know, a man, their boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, if you're not married, if you're not this, 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 that, it's sinful. It likes mm. to say a lot of natural things are sinful to condemn uh, mm. the human okay. life. Let, let, me, let me go with you. You see, if a woman, she slept with 10,000 men, is it going to make a difference for her after that to, to have 10,000 10, men in one? So what what is love mean? What is relationship mean? What is uh, special uh, uh, special between me and this woman is if if I'm going to stay with everybody and she will stay with everybody. So if every few weeks she will have a new guy who says to her, I love you, she said to him, I love you in the bed. Then two weeks after they leave each other and then they have a new partner. What this what what is this, this is what life is about? I mean, what the what the point of all of this? If this is bad, if, if this is bad, actually this is destroying the society in the West. Single child, single mother, single, uh, you know, single parents, and then the child he grow and there is no father. He don't even know maybe his father was, you know, the same as Muslim countries like Muhammad. He was born four years after his father's death. And look what happened. He was born four years after his father's death. So his mother was single mother. And Muhammad was very, you know, nobody cared for him, even to the point they were throwing him out from a house to a house. So. And the the healthy family, you, you know, you, you need to be, you don't, you know, what people today is selfish. Everybody want to just have fun, but the, nobody want to have any responsibility. I, Relationship I think, is not meant, is not, we are not cats, we are not cats, my friend. We are not dogs, mm -hmm. you know, we are human, right? Yeah, yeah, I, okay. I agree with you, you know, you should and have. That them, will, will hurt even the feeling, that will hurt the feeling of the women and the men. 
You will live in drama all your life. You sleep with this woman, okay, now nine months after she have a baby, and now you left her. This is, this, this, this is a disaster. What you accomplish, really? Well, you just made a, a broken family. Well, uh, the, you, you, it can happen, but you know, uh, it can happen even to a Christian married, uh, even Muslim married uh, a couple that uh, their children is, uh, their parents are selfish. And uh, that uh, selfishness is... Uh, yeah, but, he, but here, but here, you are doing it on purpose. You know, you are going in, in, in the, the intention of your relationship is to use each other. It's just, an, you know, it's use, using each other. That's all. You you need a woman. She, she need a man. Let us go to bed. And then what? You know? And then after some time, uh, a woman, she slept with a thousand men. How many images she have in her head, even when you are sleeping with her? Or the same for you. How many women you remember you step with when you are sleeping with this woman? So this is all is not healthy, and this is not uh, uh, this is not a human. The purpose of uh, uh, of sex, as we believe, it is to create a family, and so a human being will not hesitate to have sex because there is a joy. So God He made the joy to give motivation to the uh, to the uh, women and the men uh, to do the relationship, the but it should be for you, a reason. Uh, can I ask you personally, you, do you think uh, that uh, humans uh, need God uh, to have uh, morality? To have what? Uh, uh, morality. I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, you know, to, to you know, uh, if, uh, like, uh, do you need God to believe in God to have morality? You know, Here we go. If, you uh, just told me. You just told me. You don't like Christianity because, you know, uh, you have to have uh, a very careful in your relationship. And, you know, you can tell me that you have, this is your morality, right? But for me, I don't want to insult you. I, I, think, I, I, I think you misunderstood my question. That's no. just one example. For example, when it calls something that is natural, uh, Christian to Islam has to say, this is sinful, and that is sinful, and uh, put sin yeah. on you things see, that there is, there are natural. Things. We believe that and God, he created. Doesn't and, trust the human yeah, God, to take God, care of themselves. Yeah, when, when God, he created you. He put inside you, let us say, a basic knowledge. As an example, all of us we get disgusted when we see blood, right? Yeah, that's not. It's true. not. It's not a friendly view to see it. So uh, uh, you do not need. Let us say you are a person who don't join any religion. You do not even have a language. You are from the cave time. But when you see a human being even slaughtered in front of you, this is not a pleasant something. Something to to you know to to see, right? So, but if you do make it. A usual thing is going to be unpleasant first time, second time, third time, and then after that is going to be normal. So God created us with how to know what is unpleasant and what is not. And then what we do, we kill what God gave us and we keep going in our deception. So when you steal, uh, you know that this is not right, even if there is no religion. You know that's not yours, right? So you are acting like an animal. Two animals, you know, fighting over uh, uh, something. Uh, uh, you will see a male cat is uh, kidnapping the baby cats from the from the mother, and he eat them. He eat them, you know. Okay. But 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 that that make us go back to the animals. We are like animals. We are the human no more. So God, He gave you uh, a kind of moral. You are born with it, but not religion. Not religion. No. For example, you know, uh, uh, when I was Muslim, you know, used to say, "Hey, if you are not using your time, your valuable time, to pray five times a day, then you are doing something sinful. You're not allowed to just mind your business and do work." Well, this, and is, come. this is this is the stupid Islam, you know. For us, yeah, pr prayer yeah, is, it, is it, a and Christianity is something... doesn't do it exactly. It's not as bad, you know. But at the same time, Christianity says, you know, you are sinful because yeah, Adam, you know, and how and Eve, you know, and no. he puts you, he, may, he says you're sinful mm. just because you exist. You no, didn't you, do anything. no, no, no. You got it wrong. When we say because of Adam, we are out of heaven, doesn't mean that uh, Adam is the one who did sin. I did nothing. We believe that when we say the original sin, mean that the original man was sinner and I am a sinner too. Prove me wrong. If there's anyone that did not do something bad, correct? Well, well, the, the, uh, doesn't matter say, if you're religion say, or not. You know, all of us we do bad, right? Yeah, but let's say a baby that gets born here instead no, of a, being a, a baby dead. in Christianity, a baby 
Jesus, he said, if you do not become the same as those little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. So the babies are granted to go to heaven because they commit no sin. But, okay. but for us, adult, we, when we talk about original sin, we don't put the blame on Adam. This is a false understanding of Christianity. But we say that Adam was the first and I am the second. That's all. He was my grand grandfather, but I am no better than Adam. So the, we don't what, blame what Adam. The original sin in? Huh? The, the original sin. Then what is this concept? This is the original sin. Original sin that Adam, because of Adam, we are out of heaven, but you are no better than Adam. We follow. Okay. Yeah, we follow Adam his steps in in being sinners. So uh, uh, the original sin it doesn't mean we are blaming Adam for the, all the sin we have. We are blaming Adam for the first sin, and the rest of the sin is ours. And mm. it doesn't matter really who do the one, the, the first and the second. Sin is sin. You know, mm. if you do sin before, you know, like you are first and then I second. In, in the eye of God, both of you are sinners. It doesn't matter who did it first. Okay. Well, it's, uh, you definitely. Uh, I'm. I'm happy. I asked you those questions. Those uh, questions, you know, uh, yeah, it made me change my thought, my opinion, and uh, and I'll see. I have to think a bit more. But you know, so far it's changing my opinion. I used to think that hey, Christianity likes to call uh, the life and uh, the world sinful and a bad place, instead of accepting it uh, like it is and. Uh, so on and so forth, but you know, uh, my, my friend, the life, life is a bad place because we made it bad, not because life is, is bad. God, He did not create a bad place, God created heaven, you know. For us in His Christianity, heaven was on earth, not in heaven, not in the sky. So, heaven is in, in the earth, is an earthly heaven. This one, the one given to Adam. Mm -hmm. So, when God he even he did not create Satan, He created an angel. So, God, He wanted to have angels, and then say, uh, uh, angels chose to be a Satan. So the, the purpose of a creation in a Christianity, that all of us, we will live in heaven. But because we are greedy, everyone worship himself. We end with many gods and many moral. You know, in Islam, they claim, Islam claim that it teach the best of moral. But Islam teach they can attack the neighbors and get the blonde girls as Muhammad did. And this yeah, is moral support. Not... Yeah. And the Muhammad, Muhammad, he got, I don't know if you listened to the video two days ago. A Muslim, he called me and he said, uh, the reason all the women, they want to sleep with Muhammad because he's famous. Huh? Oh, you know, this is morality. Why you, why you prophet first, made, a, egg, made a verse? Chicken. Huh? You know, uh, which came first, the egg or the chicken? Why do you think he became popular, you know? Yeah, he became popular because he's a criminal. So, you know, that all, all, the, all the women of the criminals, they like to join the, the, the criminal in the bed. And look at the excuse. <laughs> And then, and then he say, and oh, the best scenario, the most, the best answer will say to you because he's a prophet. Okay, because he's a prophet now, he can have more women in bed. What, where is the logic in that? Why, why in Islam is uh, do do we have two versions of Islam or one Islam? They say one Islam. So okay, how many wives Muhammad he can have? Unlimited. How many wives you can have? Four. So how come isn't he a Muslim? They say, oh That's no, because he's a prophet. That's very convenient for Muhammad, don't you? Yeah. Don't you think? So, yeah. So, my friend, if you have any question about Christianity, I will be happy to help you, and I invite you to accept the Messiah as your Lord and Savior, because trust me, all what people they can give you, you know, in this world, will not take you to any any place of rest. All of those things we mentioned, it is not going to bring rest. You will find that most people who they are disturbed in their life is those who don't follow. Uh, 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 let us say a good belief uh, a belief can give bring them comfort not a belief bring hate to their heart so we Christians when we pray we pray to Muslims Muslims they curse us we pray for them uh, uh, Hindus are upset from us we pray for them the Jewish are upset from us we pray for them the Lord himself in the, Mess the Messiah in the cross he says father forgive them they do not know what they are doing so the Messiah my friend bring you comfort in your what life I can yeah, what I can see, for example, is when you look at Jesus and you compare Jesus to Muhammad, Jesus uh, didn't fight wars, he didn't have 11 wives, he didn't uh, do all of these uh, crazy things. So uh, I can give, I can say Christianity that, you know, Jesus is definitely a good guy, but Muhammad, he is not uh, someone that has the morals. Yeah, but forget to about Muhammad now, you know, you are not a Muslim no more. You know, the duct tape age is over. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not going. I'm not going to duct tape Jesus for you, right? Because Jesus, you do not need me to duct tape like Muhammad. So you could say have, that. <laughs> we, we have the Messiah. is an amazing person. Love your enemy. Bless those who curse you. Who can go that far? Love your enemy. Two thousand years ago, today, who dare even to say this word? I mean, imagine you have a president in the United Nations saying, "Love your enemy." People will say, "Well, this guy is crazy." What are you talking about? Imagine. Uh, uh, Putin and uh, and uh, Joe Biden, you know, he might forget his name at that time. He, he, they go in a speech and they say, love your enemy. Okay, uh, 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 that will not work in this day. In, in, why they will not work? Because people, they are full of greed. People seeking power. People, they want to earn more, make more, control more. So the evil inside us forbid us from following the Messiah. Because if we practice only one sentence of Christ, not the whole book, just one, Love your enemy. All the budget we have for military in the world can make this earth heaven. That's trillions, a lot of money wasted on, on yeah. military. That's true, you know. Yeah, trillions of not not billions, trillions of dollars. You know, yeah, is it spent that's around that. the world just to kill? Why? Because a human so, being yeah. is worth than animal. You see, even animals when they fight, they fight for a reason. Human being, they don't fight for any reason. Sometimes. Yes, I mean, sure, you, sure. you wonder, you ask yourself, what even the reason for this war? Uh, hmm. Russia is so big, India is so big, Pakistan is so big. What do you want? What, what exactly you are looking for? Nobody, they cannot live without killing. So hatred is the supreme in this earth. Hatred is the master in this earth. This is why we as a Christian, we believe that the Messiah is going to come back and he's going to save this earth from our hatred. I see. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Well, it was a pleasure uh, talking to you, and uh, you know, I really Thank appreciate you, it. And uh, you know, don't be scared of criticizing uh, ideas and religions and this and that. And, no the last one need, and, and the last one needed advice, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> All right. Take care, my friend. God bless you. If you want any, any any help, you can call me. Uh, I appreciate it. But I, I invite uh, you, before you sleep today, my friend, think about it. No one can save you. And without the Messiah, you know, still we will never have comfort in this earth. You will go through many things in your life. You will you will, you will, will feel that uh, the life will direct you just in temptation, but there's no purpose. With the Messiah, you will have a purpose. And temptation will not die. Temptation will be with you. But temptation will be under control. So there's a huge difference between you control your temptation or temptation controlling you. A person who live under the control of temptation will end wherever temptation take him. It's, uh, it's, it's, I can tell you that, you know, uh, being uh, an atheist, it's, uh, and, you know, believing that there's no God, you know, it feels like uh, almost a bit lonely sometimes, you know. It's like if it's almost purposeless. I don't know if I have to get used to it, but... There's something to be said about that, I can well, say. I hope soon you will you will manage to think, rethink it again, and you will call me and uh, you tell me that you this, if you have a question I will answer you and I, I hope soon you will accept the Messiah as your Lord as Savior and I'm so happy for you anyway that you decide to leave Islam. But remember, for me as a Christian you are not saved yet because still you are just going with the current. Wherever the current take you, we will go, you know because. You are now you are submissive to life, not to a purpose in your life. There is no purpose. You are just living, you know, enjoying things, food, sex, etc. But real purpose, you don't have it. And life without real purpose, it goes so fast and it dies so fast. And nobody will remember you after that. All right? Uh, I, I, I will think about it. A lot of, uh, give you something to think about at least. So, yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Take care. Well, I'm so happy for him. You know, you remember, he, he called me, I don't know uh, how, a while ago. Uh, I, I think I see here in YouTube, uh, sorry, in uh, Skype, uh, we spoke last time. I don't know, Skype, it shows last time in November 24, really? Time don't go fast. Huh. Okay. November 24th. All right. Yeah. This is actually because I'm looking at the Skype here. 
this is the first time he texted me it's uh, Wednesday November 24th at 2 21 and he is saying salam CP I'm a Muslim I have this agreement with you can I ask you my question yeah so the duct tape conversation happened at that time uh, time go fast I'm very happy for him that he decided to leave to leave Islam uh, <clears throat> Yeah, we go back here. A Muslim Abdul, he's saying the following. How can you write that the moon split is nth scientific while Jesus turned water into a wine? I mean, this is really very, you're a genius, my friend. You know what? I don't think you're born after nine months. I think your mother, she cooked you in the microwave. Look at the compare. How you can uh, write that the moon split is unscientific? First of all, we don't say it is scientific or not. Who cares if it's scientific or not? The stupid Quran did not even say who split the moon. Secondly, if the moon is split, why is it split no more? Did Allah glue it again? <laughs> Jesus made the water wine. It's a miracle. Okay, let us say there's a miracle in the Quran. Allah split the moon. But Allah did not say who split the moon. And he did not say if he glued the moon again. Did he glue it again? If the moon is split, should we should have two moons now. So do we have two moons? Split is not a crack. Split is a split. You know what the word split mean? So you Muslims, you have a funny, funny miracles. You know, there's a there's a there's a guy. His name uh, is Fifi. He said the body saw it because it was for a second. <whistles> That's deep. For a second, only for a second. Me for a second. Well, my friend, even if it's for a second, there's nobody was looking at the sky at the time. In Italy, in Persia, in China, nobody was looking. I mean, let us talk about those who they are living in the same, you know, uh, uh, like nighttime for them, not those who they have daytime, like in USA. So those who they have nighttime, nobody noticed that the moon is split and Allah, he split the moon. What it says that Allah split the moon. Read the verse. And look at the translation here, it says, uh, the people of Mecca requested the prophet uh, S.A.W. to show them a miracle. Okay, well, just to show you how stupid this miracle is. If Muhammad really have a miracle, so why the Quran keeps saying Muhammad never have a miracle? Do you see the stupidity? If Muhammad, he had a miracle splitting the moon. This is a chapter 13, and it's mentioned twice in chapter 13, verse number 7. And chapter 13, by the way, is at the end of the Quran. Chapter 13 is at the end of the Quran. If we go, let us go a little bit, open Prophet Google. And we will look for Quran according to Revelation, Muslim website. According to Revelation. Yeah, because Muslims, they agree that the Muslims, they change the revelation order. And the funny, they claim that the Quran never been changed. But all of us, we knew that the Muslims claim that the first time Quran came to Muhammad is where the angel, he said to him, read. But that is at the end of the Quran now. You see, chapter 96, it was number one. And the Muslims, they say, we never changed the Quran. Brother, we never change the Quran, brother, like Turkey. You know? Brother, 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 did Allah made a mistake by making it number one? So let us go and, and, and look for chapter number 13, shall we? Okay. Let us look for 13. 
Oh boy. Look at this. Chapter 13. It is number 96 in the according to Revelation. So Muhammad is almost dead. And yet, Muhammad do not have any miracle. What about the chapter of the moon? The one where it says that the moon is split. Let us go back to the moon chapter. Shall we go to the moon chapter, brother? Okay, let's go to the moon chapter. What a bunch of kids. Huh? Let us close some pages, too many pages. So, chapter of the moon is in the Quran today, number 54. What, what, what? 54. All right. Let us go to the revelation and search for 54. Surprise, surprise. 54 is number 37. So look what happened. The miracle of splitting the moon, as the Muslim they claim, happened in the beginning of Muhammad life, after 37 chapters. Yeah, I mean, you know, a few years after, as a prophet. Then we have, we go all the way until Muhammad is almost dead. Number 96. We find the Quran saying, Muhammad never received revelation. Sorry, never received a miracle. Do you see it? Muhammad should say to them, don't you see the moon? I split the moon for you. So Muhammad now is almost dead. And he is, you know, he have no miracle. <laughs> he left as a dummy, never come back as a, you know. You know when the Chinese say he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse? They were talking about Muhammad. Nobody else. Who's next? See, Muslim, this is why they don't dare to call me. Our friend here, the one who called me, because this is what happened when you call Christian Prince. Our friend, Muhammad, I'm not going to call him duct tape no more. I come with this name because I give up on him. I don't I, I don't know for how long we spoke. Let me let me look in Skype. For how long there was the conversation with him? I mean the last time conversation. Uh, yeah, I don't have it doesn't show really for how long it should show. But anyway, uh Whatever I give him, he give me, he, he put a duct tape, you know, maybe and maybe and maybe and maybe it doesn't mean that and maybe it's a, you know, so I don't know, one hour, 20 minutes, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't, if I remember, I can remind me. I lost my voice showing him and he was trying his best to duct tape Muhammad. That's why I said, well, you are, you know, what you are doing now, you are just doing duct tape. You call, you call, you call me, and you are a Muslim. There's one of two things will happen. Either you will leave Islam, or the Muslims who listen to you will leave Islam. Try me. Right? And if we say that Muhammad wasn't Abrahamic, the Muslim, they will say, liar. Liar. Muhammad, you do not know what even Abraham mean. He liar. Liar. Okay. Muhammad was a pagan, and the Arab were pagan like him. Liar. Uh, you know, um, let us respond to Christian Prince. Well, he wasn't Abrahamic for sure, and he's a scam. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that 
most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. All right, so we go back and listen what one of the Muslims, he's a smart Muslim, he put for us in the chat. Just to show you. Just to show you why is saying Islam is a stupid and it makes you stupid when you follow a stupid person. So this is a person, his name is Ibrahim. And Ibrahim, why you don't call him my friend? So let us see how smart you are. Look what he said. He's calling me Huthala, which means garbage. He said, Lakum deenakum waliyadeen. Ibrahim, who is the stupid here? If you say you have your religion, I have mine. So why you're a stupid prophet keep calling us names? Why he keep calling us kuffar, najis, filthy, liars? Okay. As long as you have your religion, I have mine. So secondly, what is your religion? I challenge you to tell us what is your religion. Your religion is you go, you kill your neighbor because he's not a Muslim, and then Allah will make your penis endless, and you will have a lot of women, their legs up. This is a religion, Ibrahim. This is your religion. You go, you kill the one who they are not Muslims, and then Allah will give you a lot of women and their legs is up. This is religion? Huh? Or maybe you mean that the religion is that there is a God, if we believe in him, this God, he will give me women with big boobs. Is that the religion? So when you say, we have our religion, you have, my, by the way, this chapter in the Quran is the most funny chapter. The chapter of Al-Kafirun is one of the most stupid chapter ever. Let me show you how stupid it is. Cry, 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 my friend. Cry. You cannot answer us. That's why you cry. Potato. Just to show you the chapter he is quoting to us from. This is this is a God talking. Look at this chapter. This way, this way he is quoting, uh, quoting for us. Say, O Muhammad, look here, by the way, all what the verse says, the translation or making all of this, all of this is this sentence. What happened? All of this in English is to translate three words. They are literally three words. So all of this to translate three words, <whistles> that's deep. We change the stupid translation. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us go to Yusuf Ali, other donkey. Look what happened. Man, I think the Clorex ate it. Don't, don't use the Clorex with the Quran. The goat ate it. Okay. Oh, you kuffar. Okay. Uh, reject faith translation. Kuffar reject faith. No, kuffar is not reject faith. Kuffar is the one who hide the truth. And then, or oppose it. I worship not what you worship. Like, what the heck? And then, no, you will worship what I worship. What? what? And then, I will not worship what you which were worshiping. What do you want to worship? Like, what? And then, no, I will worship what you want to worship. What do you want to worship? Like, what the heck? And then, uh, you have your religion. I have mine. What a donkey. And guess what happened? All Muhammad, he just said, no, you will worship what I worship. Do you know that all of them later became Muslims? Do you know that the one Muhammad was talking to, the tribes of Al, Al Quraysh, they became all of the Muslims later? He just told them, none of you will worship my God. So the verse you are quoting for me, proving that Muhammad is a certified idiot. Where is this guy, uh, Ibrahim? 
إبراهيم يا إبراهيم إنك لإنسان لئيم سأضع عليك اللعنة وأعجنها بالجبنة وأصنع منها قرآن عديم إبراهيم يا إبراهيم ما أدراك ما الشيطان الرجيم Uh, we made Quran. This is religion. You know, if I change one word, instead of saying Al-Kafirun, I worship not what you worship. I will change I worship to I eat. Okay? Any Anytime you see the word worship, change it to the word I eat. Just to show you how stupid this religion is. So, I will take worship here. And I will use the word eat in the top of it. Kabich. Here we go. Now we have a new Quran. Let us type the word eat. Oh, we are typing in Arabic. Let us switch the, the color. We make it red because Ibrahim, he like red. This would happen to him if he did not wash dishes at home. Okay. So I will change the word worship with eat. For every word, it says worship. And then you will see how stupid this book is. A brother, I eat not what you eat, nor I will eat what you, what I eat. And I will not eat what which you have been eating, nor will you eat which I ate. You have your food, I have mine. This is God talking. This is God. You know what? This is heavy. This is literally written by someone is supreme. Genius. I mean, take a lot of time. I eat not what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat, and I will not do eat what you eat because you will not eat what I eat because I will not eat you not what you eat, but you will never eat my to eat because you will not eat my eat, and I will you will never never eat what I eat because you have your food. I have my thank you. That's deep. That is philosophy. That's where philosophy is coming from. Philosophy. This is not this is philosophy of I worship not what you worship and you will worship what I worship and I will worship what I worship. I worship, worship. My friend, your God Muhammad was watching Star Wars, so he started with worship. This is the verse you are quoting for me, Ibrahim. Call me so we can laugh. And by the way. As you see, all of those he said to them, you will not worship what I worship, neither you will worship what I worship. All of them, they became Muslim, which is this chapter proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Because he come from that, they will never worship what he worship. Do you see why I say stupid is amazing? No, Ibrahim is not missing. His wife, she, uh, she forced him to go to the laundry room. She said to him, do you see, honey, what happened? Do you see, I told you, don't sit alone in front of the computer. Why you come to Christian Prince alone? You cannot. Uh, honey, I, you know, I, I just, I posted two words and he made a story of it. Because he's a Christian Prince, don't you know? Don't do that. Actually, this is the reason you cannot have kids from me. Because simply, it's not functioning like your prophet. Hey, by the way, Muslims. How many how many descendants Muhammad you have? I look in YouTube, he has millions, man. The king of Morocco claimed to be descended. The king of Jordan claimed to be descendant. Saddam Hussein claimed to be descendant. Al Qazafi claimed to be descendant. George Bush claimed to be descendant. I mean, everybody claimed to be descendant of Muhammad. But Muhammad, he cannot have sex. Not even in the time of Rex. Now we have reference. Hmm. Why you say that Muhammad Mary is six years old while Mary she wasn't 12 years old? A proud Saudi, are you proud Saudi or proud an idiot? Hey, can you show me the reference that Mary she was six, uh, 12 years old? Secondly, Abdul, isn't your Quran say that Mary she was a virgin? Are you saying your Quran is lying? 
Because as you see, that Mary, she gave birth as a virgin, so there's no husband. Ah, look like your God, Allah is a stupid. He forgot that Mary, she have a husband. But you are smarter than your God. You got the point there. <laughs> hey, Saudi, uh, proud Saudi. I want to ask you, are you sure you are not Hindu? I know, it sounds like you are trying to make me say things to expose your prophet. It sounds fishy for me. Um... <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? We have Ahmad here. Look, look how genius Ahmad is. Look, guys, the Muslims here in the chat, they are the one who can get you busted. Look at this. This is a thinker. Not thinker, the one you use for fishing. Thinker, thinker. You know, he think, he think. When, when Muhammad and he think, there's something horrible will happen. So you think all your sins are justified because Jesus died? How stupid! <laughs> Abdul, we don't believe in that. Who, who is the donkey? He said that to you. It is you Muslims who believe. If you touch the black stone, your son is just your sin is justified. <laughs> it's you who believe in that. Let us go to the black stone touching. Hey, uh, Abdul. Ahmad, did you, when the last time you touched her stone? Be honest with me. And where you touch her, huh? Ahmad, where you touch the black stone? Because the black stone, as I know, it looked like a vagina. And I challenge you to call me to explain to me why it looked like a vagina. Eh, it's just a question, explain. And now, if we go in the hadith, we will find your prophet saying, if you touch her, don't take me wrong, I'm talking about the black stone. It erase your sin. That's deep. It justify your sin. Brother, who is the one believing justifying sin? If you touch the black stone, it justify your sin? That's so deep. Look at this. Brother Ahmad, do you think I should go to the Kaaba and touch her? I mean, the black stone? Is that why you make her wear burqa? Here we go, I just showed you. Look, Ahmad, look, is, Ahmad is making challenge. I mean, that's it. When, when Muhammad he made a challenge, that's it. You're in trouble, brother. Ahmed, do you like to call me and you can read for us, Ahmed? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, and show us where the black stone justifies sin. Hmm? I got you busted, Christian Prince. You cannot show us. Hey, Abdul, it's here. Are you satisfied or you are set and fied? Read it. You touch the black stone. It justify your sin. Your sin is whipped. That's deep. So Ahmad, me and you, brother, we are going to go to the Kaaba tomorrow. And we are going to touch her. You touch her first, and I touch her second. Or you know what? I will touch her first. Because what if the eraser is not working if you touch her after me. I want to be sure my sin is erased first. Are you there? Who want to go with me and touch her first? I mean the black stone, which is in the shape of a vagina, alhamdulillah. Ahmed, is that your prophet? Saying so? Uh, now they will say to you, this hadith is daif. It's not daif. And even daif is accepted, by the way. There's two corners in the Kaaba. If you touch them, brother, it erase your sin. Not even just a fight, erase them. It's gone. It's like a shampoo. Hmm. Do we have any smart Abdul here? You know what? I know I'm asking for much when I say smart Abduls. I take it back. That's it's like mission impossible. I mean, how in the world I say such a sentence? The Muslim they might even be offended by saying smart Abdul. Smart and smart and Abdul. 
and the guy was talking about us being stupid. Why? Because some he said that if Jesus died for me, justify my sin. Nowhere in Christianity it says that. You are a liar. This is new religion. And you know what? Sooner or later I will touch her. Just wait. I will convert to Islam just for two weeks to go and touch her and come back. And then I open my chat and I say, I'm a, I'm a Christian again. What do you guys, what do you think? I make a video of Christian Prince going to the Kaaba and he is touching her. And she's wearing a skirt, black skirt. I will put my hand under the Kaaba skirt. That's deep. Hey, by the way, Muslims, why the Kaaba is wearing a skirt? What is the what is the reason? Who is behind this skirt thing? Is it true that the one, the first one who made the Kaaba wear a skirt was a pagan? And you Muslims are doing what the pagan does? A house of God wearing a skirt? If there's anything under the skirt, I'm just curious. Or only skirt. I mean, what house of worship wearing burqa? Why is that? I'm just wondering. Hmm. Look at them. And now after I hang up, they will say to you, this guy cannot refute this guy, and he cannot refute that guy, but none of your guys dare to call me. And the one who called me, who leave Islam. Here we go. Ask Mr. Muhammad, who used to be duct tape. He is not duct tape no more. Okay, we have a Muslim maybe trying to call. Let us see. <coughs> we will mute the speaker <coughs> until he answer. So we will not bother you with the sound. Answer, Abdul, answer. He's Hello? The son of the Here we go. He's playing the music for me. Rashid Muhammad playing playing uh, Arabi music. That's deep. That's really deep. <sighs> mean, you killed the show, brother. Are you going to dance for us too? I heard that your prophet used to do break a dance, and I heard that he is so pretty. Ah. It's very pretty, extremely pretty. All my life, I wanted to have a pretty prophet. And it's a dream to have finally a prophet who is so pretty. Uh, and by the way, the, the pretty prophet, when he wanted to join the beauty queen competition, he decided to take a shower. I love how the Prophet of Allah, he take a shower. I literally just love it. Look at this. Look at this. The Prophet performing wudu, which means washing himself, his body, in a well full of dead dogs, and women blood from period and their rags and garbage thrown in it. Even the hadith says stinky stuff. The, the whale is stinky. <sighs> so Muhammad now he jump in the shower and he is so happy. He grabbed the shampoo. Oh, this is dead meat of a dog. Oh, this is the tail. Ah, oh, this is the testicle of the dog. Oh, this is his penis. Main. Okay. And now Muhammad is washing his head. La ilaha illallah is talking about jerking off. MashaAllah. You are really a very, 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 uh, uh, very good Muslim. Look at this. Let me show you. You see? Uh, here we go. Guys, this is a Muslim. La ilaha illallah. Why you don't call me and tell us about jerking off in the house of your prophet and the wife of your prophet was teaching the guy how to scratch the sperm from his pant. And if I am lying, everybody will laugh at me. Is that fair, guys? Is it true 
that there's a guy in the house of your prophet was jerking off literally, and then he have a sperm in his pant, and the wife of the prophet was teaching him how to scrub it using his nails. She said, this is how I do it with the prophet. Hmm. This is, thank you, you believe me. This is the beginning. You will get more. That's deep. Hey, la ilaha illallah. Uh, say hello to Allah and tell him that he sent an idiot, a coward like you, who don't dare to call me. He is a brave text terrorist. This is the beginning. If this is the beginning, what is the end? And secondly, Abdul, we don't worship a cross. It is you who kiss a black stone and believe that a black stone erase your sin. Mean the stone erase sin. How is that? Black stone kissers. It's a stone. You ask Muhammad and in the best intelligence, and this is after I drink camel urine. Why you kiss the black stone? You remember the website we went to before? I don't know if anybody have the video. So we went to the Muslim website and we asked them. The website is like to convert people to Islam. So they have a chat. I asked them, hey, brother, I have a question. Why the prophet he kissed the black stone? He said, because it's holy. Uh, you know, he waited like for three minutes to answer me. He was thinking, maybe asking for help to answer. And then I said, why it's holy? Then he took his time again and he said, because uh, the prophet kissed it. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Why the black stone is holy Muslims? We Muslims are people who worship God. But the black stone, we kiss it. The black stone erase our sin. Hmm? Any Abdul? Any Mohammedan? Anyone? How brave Muhammad and R. Hmm. All right. Well, we are very satisfied today, actually. At least we have our friend Muhammad who debated me. I don't want to call it a debate. It was a duct tape, as usual, actually. We don't debate Muslims. Muslims never, never deep it. Muslims try to give excuse for the stupidity of their prophet. But as you see, uh, we are happy for Muhammad. I think, I think I hang up on him at that time, right? When I spoke to him, because I cannot take it no more. I said, okay, bye-bye. Uh, this is what I remember. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but today I'm happy that Muhammad, he left Islam and he is out of this garbage. Hmm. Any Muhammad? Any Muhammadan would like to call us? You know, when the Muslim they say 1.5 billion, by the way, now they are saying 1.6. Two weeks from now, they will say 2 billion. Just wait. Uh, but th those numbers are very funny because if there's 1.5 billion, why Islamic countries are not following Islam? You see, Islamic countries they claim that they are following Islamic law, but nobody follows Islamic law. The president of Algeria, he go to the mosque. He say, Prophet Muhammad is amazing. The king of Morocco, the king of Jordan, the I mean, all of them, the president of Egypt, you name it, the president, prime, minister, prime minister of Pakistan, the president of Pakistan. I mean, you name it. But nobody want to follow Islam. Music is haram. Everybody listen to music. Movies is haram. Everybody watch movies. And not only movies, they watch special movies. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nobody want to follow Islam. Because Islam, if, if you know, Islam, if it's not, Islam is not just a religion you believe. 
Islam is a government. So when the Muslim refuse to have an Islamic government, that's mean they are refusing to have Islam. As simple as that. So they have, right now we have zero Islamic state. The only Islamic state was exists is the state of ISIS. This is what it's called, Islamic state. And the Muslim themselves, they fought it because everybody hate Islam. Number one people who fought the Islamic State is those who don't want Islam. ISIS want to practice Islam. If you wear jeans, we break your legs. If you if you don't grow beard, we we, we beat you. Uh, women they can sit on the chair. Why? Because the chair is a male. <laughs> the word kursi in Arabic is a male word. <laughs> women can sit in the chair. Haram. You know what she said? She can sit in the lap of the imam. <laughs> The Muslim women, she cannot sit in the chair, but she can sit in the lap of ISIS member. If you are a Christian,